Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Gaming on Caffeine. My name is Isaac, and we are back for our second episode of my first look series. Today, we are taking a look at the Run Dig Hide mod pack that you can play right now on the FTB launcher using the pack code PT and Noob Crew. Uh, not quite sure why they decided to use the pack code PT Noob Crew uh, instead of using something like Run Dig Hide or RDH, but that's what they went with. And yeah, it looks like a pretty cool mod pack. It's about a month old, so not the newest mod pack, but uh, also not a really old one either. We're going to go ahead and click on Lonely Wasteland. And also, by the way, this front screen here is really awesome. I like the changing images. I like the use of shaders. And I like the way they've changed the uh, single player and multiplayer to be Wasteland servers and Lonely Wasteland. We're going to play Lonely Wasteland. We're going to create a new world. We're going to call it YouTube as we do. And we're going to kind of, I think, leave everything else okay. We're going to play Survival. Although I think Hardcore would be a kind of cool way to play this if I didn't completely suck at Hardcore. And if we go ahead and look at what more world options. Uh, you do have world types like wasteland the default super flat large biomes amplified we're gonna leave it as wasteland there is a customized button but it doesn't actually do anything right now uh, i have no idea if it's going to do something but uh, for now we're just gonna leave it off bonus chests off uh, allow cheats off done and create new world and whilst that's creating i'm gonna go ahead and read you some stuff off the uh, the forum here because it's actually like there's no quest book or anything in this pack although browsing through the forum the pack creator did say they're thinking of adding some sort of HQM at some point in the future. So for now, I'm just going to kind of press escape and just hold off on there for a second. And there is a section on the forum called What is Run Dig Hide? So it says, uh, RDH is based on survival in a post-apocalyptic world. You have survived a recent storm of meteors impacting the earth. And although you found suitable shelter, you have barely survived. The supplies you have with you are almost gone. And most of the world as you once knew it is now gone and are buried away in, uh, in the surface fires with which are caused upon impact. The intense heat changed the landscape, uh, has changed the landscape around you. You will start the world inside a bunker and you must find enough supplies in order to survive. Uh, if the lack of general supplies isn't bad enough, you also have to deal with environmental issues such as temperature, hydration, air quality, and sanitary. Uh, sa sanitary? <laughs> no, and sanity, not sanitary. <laughs> you will need to run, dig, and hide uh, your way past various obstacles in order to gather supplies and find a way to survive. But that's not all. And then there is a list of of other things that are special about the mod pack that we'll get into when we come across them in the pack itself. So, as it said, you do spawn in the bunker. Now, at first, this kind of led me to believe that maybe this is a preset world. It is not. It is completely randomly generated every time. However, somehow you automatically spawn in the bunker. No idea how it works, but it's kind of cool. You get this chest, always full of nothing. You get a bed, which is quite nice. You can just set spawn by right-clicking. A lamp, which at first I was kind of dubious about because I thought maybe it's just a straight-up trap. Uh, it doesn't look to be. You can flick it and it seems to be fine. And then, of course, we have the outside world. And Oh, my gosh, we've spawned. Okay, that's new. Sometimes that, that doesn't always happen. And I have no idea how that ladder's staying there. But I'm just going to ignore that. And instantly, we have one of the first kind of features. Oh, my gosh. We're going to have to run. <laughs> Part one, running. <laughs> okay. So, first of all, you'll notice the cows are hostile. That is uh, one main feature. You'll also notice they kind of have the... Uh, the wolf instinct. So if you kill one of them, the rest kind of come running. And also you'll see this guy here. If you look at the top there, Whaler says entity dot day zombie. This is the day zombie. This is, I think, one of the main features. Yeah, if you look uh, back on the forum here, it says, uh, what makes run dig hide hard slash difficult? And the first little bullet point is mob spawn during the day. They don't care about sunlight. So things like the day zombie will spawn during the day and do not give any cares in the world as to if the sunlight there is there or not. And there's another cow. So, as you probably guessed by now, we do have magical crops. Look at that. Boom. Manisho Essence. This is a kind of hard pack. And that's a kind of about all it is, really. It's still modded Minecraft. Uh, it has about 130 mods, I believe. You'll be able to check the uh, beginning of the video on the title screen if you want the exact number of mods. And other than that, it's kind of just a hardcore experience that's focused around staying alive. Obviously, you've got Environmine over here, which I'm going to quickly change to Celsius because I have no idea how to convert from Fahrenheit to Celsius. I think it's like times by... There's a, there's a weird formula for it. I don't know Fahrenheit. I'm going to go ahead and use the Environmine menu to quickly change to Celsius. Uh, for those who are wondering how you do it, that's how you do it. And, oh my god, that would be a blue slime. Okay, get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> so, not all of the worlds kind of look like this. Some of them do have, like, grass. Some of them do have other stuff. Some of them look a lot more alive than this sort of, like, desolate wasteland does. Even if you do pick the, uh, the wasteland biome. And all over the place, there are little monuments like this. You can see something's there. There's another little thing over there. And there's this guy over here. So, it kind of does uh, encourage exploration. If I had one kind of gripe about this pack so far, it would be that I haven't found a ton of stuff in these houses. I've looked around quite a bit, and most of the stuff that I found 
is not very good. This is pretty much like that house there is kind of cool. We could probably start in here, but it's empty. There's nothing in here. There's no like loot, no cool stuff. Um, though I found quite a lot of like dungeons and traps. Do be careful. Uh, there are levels that you can't click and will harm you if you do find them. But uh, this is kind of cool. This is a wooden chest from the SGS treasure mod. Now, this chest we can't open. Oh, we can open. Okay. Uh, okay. Didn't think I'd be able to open that. We should probably get some food because we are uh, not doing well on hunger at all. And hopefully we don't get attacked again. But um, some of these chests you'll find that are locked and you have to make a key in order to open them. I'm just going to quickly take all this stuff because it's actually kind of useful beware chickens are also hostile do not try and attack them they will fight back let's go ahead and quickly kill off this slime and get out of here get out of here there we go Whew. um i want to make a furnace let's get our pickaxe out that we just got look at this like a full set of tools instantly uh, as i just complained about lack of loot let's go get some uh, some some cobblestone you do see these spikes quite frequently around the map they're not uh, uncommon as such uh, and actually we were given 16 apples so let's go ahead and eat these real quick Hopefully we won't die and hopefully we'll start to get some health back We do also start with a little bit of uh, water as well Which is also good because for those who have seen me play like crash landing or, or recently blast off or anything like that You'll know that uh, water is kind of a big issue and you can actually use surface water If you were to try and, uh, and use some surface water that would just straight up not work Please don't kill me that would not be fun uh, I will kill you though because that would be incredibly fun And I'm going to start by getting myself uh, a little bit of a furnace over here and I do quite like these spires. They do make it a little bit nicer because, of course, uh, if you do go underground, it's even more dangerous than it is on the surface here. So I'm going to grab a little bit of this stuff. And I'm also going to grab some coal so we can power our furnace. And I'm going to try to avoid those sheep and those uh, chickens that I can see just above me on the mini-map. Because, as with the cows, they are all hostile. They will all attack you. And it is it is pretty brutal. It's pretty brutal. We're also going to need some uh, some wood. By the way, we do start with world domination with open blocks and materials in you. Volume 1, which uh, does indicate that we have both open blocks and Tinker's Construct on here. Uh, we also have a bunch of other mods. Kind of typical stuff you'd expect to find. Uh, I don't think... We do have Vein Miner. Yes. Okay. Beautiful. We have Vein Miner. And we also got an achievement. Getting wood. Nice. You also have the fireworks. Look at that. Woo. Um, and the Slime Islands, obviously. I think they're from Tinker's. But... Um, yeah, to be fair, there's not a whole lot I can really say about this pack apart from the the beginning stuff. Like, it's not... Unlike the pack we saw before, the Regrowth. Regrowth was a HQM pack, kind of like what you're going to see with uh, with Crash Landing Agrarians, guys. This isn't really like that. This isn't a, a set pack. It doesn't have a set line that you're supposed to go down. It's just kind of a harder pack. And from playing it, it seems like maybe a slightly easier mad pack because I've played it. It's not extremely hard, uh, but it's it's pretty hard. There are some certain aspects of it that do make it more difficult. But at the same time, it has a bunch of mods in it. You know, we have magical crops. Uh, if we flick through here, we have carpenters blocks, extra utilities, uh, and pretty much a bunch of mo uh, mods that you're used to seeing build craft. So it's really just a big mod pack that's been given a difficult edge. You know, mobs spawn in the day, uh, stuff's harder to get, H normal creatures attack you. You have to balance environment. By the way, I'm not a huge fan of the, the default uh, environment layout over here on the left if i was to uh to uh, go ahead and go to video options i believe we can change the bar positions i kind of like to to have them sort of maybe down here or up here or nicely spread out a little bit like so you can you can put these wherever you want by the way just dragging around and you can also go ahead and change them from horizontal to vertical if you so wish but uh, the top one there is temperature then uh, water levels then sanity and then air levels i'm assuming that uh, if we were to go down into some of the mines we would probably start to lose our air levels and i'm not quite sure if the gas mod is in here let me have a quick look here gas uh oh it might be there's environment gas which i think is potentially dangerous if we do go too far down so well, let's go ahead and throw you down let's get a, a little bit of a furnace and let's try get ourselves some food so we maybe don't die tonight that would be <laughs> that would be priority number one and i think also getting a little bit of a hovel would be pretty good as well and i think what i'm probably going to do what would probably be a good idea is to go all the way up to here so that we can kind of still mine into this pillar during the night i think that would also be pretty smart of us like so and then what we'll do is, I think, actually, where's our, where's our, hmm, where's our default hovel? Where did we spawn in at? Because as soon as night comes, we can probably just go and sleep back down there if I had any clue as to where we started. I think it was somewhere near this house. I do remember seeing this. Let's go have a look and see if there's anything in here. Again, 
like I said, we're probably not going to find anything in here, which is a bit of a shame because there's a, there was potential for putting a lot of stuff in. You do find a lot of mob spawners, and I have been down the, one of these staircases before. It's a very, very long staircase with, unfortunately, not very much at the bottom of it, uh, it unfortunately. And again, there's another, like a, I think it's like a face over here. If we go have a quick look here. This is like a face, but again, I kind of tore one of these down and didn't find much. Now, there might be something in the bottom of this, actually. Let's uh, vein miner uh vein miner this away there we go yeah there's not much not much here unfortunately i do like vein miner it's a brilliant mod i love being able to use it like that but uh, like i said unfortunately not very much in here uh, if there was one complaint i had about this pack so far and i've just kind of realized that i've messed up the uh, the mini map there in the top right with the environment bars i do apologize about that i'll uh, i'll go fix that in a second once we get back to our little base but yeah if there was one thing i would uh, complain about this pack i'd kind of like to see uh, a bit more a bit more loot lying around, a bit more stuff maybe in the chest. I'm not talking like game-breaking diamonds and, and quarries and stuff in the chest. But, you know, stuff like we started with just then, like a little bow, uh, a sword or something like that. Just tools uh, or maybe like little bits from other mobs, maybe like a lasso or something. Just scattered around. I think that'd be kind of cool instead of just having these big pillars that look awesome and give like the, the, the feeling of adventure. But at the same time, don't really offer anything in the way of adventure, if you know what I'm saying here. Um... So yeah, that's that's kind of how I feel uh, about that. Let's go ahead and just real quick do something like this. Because I think if we make it too high, they might be able to get in from some sides. So we'll go ahead and make it three high and, and stick a door on here. And then we could probably get some mining going. And I might even get a... I think probably a good way to start this would be getting a, a bunch of armor. I think armor is going to be a big thing. So let's go ahead and do something like this and try and get some of the iron out of the spire here. I do like these spires. Uh, they had something similar to this in Blast Off. And I do think it's kind of a cool idea. I like not having to go down to the mines to get stuff, really. And, uh, oh, nope, nope. I kind of want that back. Let's get rid of you. And you. I was hoping Van Miner would get a little bit more stuff there. Okay. There is some redstone up there as well, which is kind of nice. And we probably. Hmm. We probably should have tried to get maybe... I don't know. I don't think there's any really early game audibling that we could probably get within this episode. So what I'm going to do instead is just see if we can get as much iron as possible. And you will notice that Vein Miner is taking its toll on our hunger pretty hard, which uh, is not the best. But uh, let's grab you. Let's sort of shimmy on around. Hopefully no skeletons appear and start shooting us. I don't think there are any other mobs that spawn apart from zombies during the day. Uh, I haven't seen any. I'm pretty sure so far it's only day zombies. Let's uh, do a little bit of jump in here. And I'll take you. Thank you very much. And I'll take you as well. And where does that put us? That puts us on 13 iron. I think we need 24. Uh, I, oop, mm, that was not good. Let's get some food from uh, in here. There we go. Seven steaks. Should be more than enough. Uh, I think we need 24 in order to get a full set of iron armor. Which, uh, if I was playing this pack, is definitely something I think we should go for first. And we're going to need a couple more of these pickaxes. I often find with Vein Miner in mods like this uh, that it's it's a good idea to have a lot of pickaxes on you anyway. So that when you go down to the mines, you can just kind of tear through a bunch of uh, cobblestone and, and just try and get to the, the, the good stuff uh, a bit faster. Let's get rid of that. And then let's go ahead and just try and clear up a bit more stuff, preferably without doing what we just did there and opening us up to the outside world, because that means we are vulnerable to attacks, which is not something I want to do. Let's see if Vein Miner is going to go ahead and nicely break all of those. It did. Beautiful. Let's grab those guys and do a little bit of nerd polling. It is getting dark, so we could end up on the business end of some mobs pretty soon, which would not be the funnest, I must admit. That takes us to 18, which is not quite 24. But, oh, there's 23. Come on, one more. One more. Where's where's our last piece of iron? Where is it at? Let's get some coal here. There we go. Let's block this up so we don't die. That's better. And let's see. Is there anything anything else? Is there any more little bits of iron? I think they're like, yeah, nice. Look at this. Boom. Loads more iron. This will probably give us enough to get a full set. And uh, maybe even uh, like a, maybe a full set of tools as well. Uh, I do not want to talk to you. Get, get out of here. Get out of here. There we go. Whew. All right. Let's do something like that and block this off again. And I'm also going to block this off because I think they might be able to get through there as well. And let's take a little bit more of this. Do we have space? There we go. Nine more. Nice. Okay. That is definitely enough to get us full sets of armor and everything else. Do we need another furnace or two? I think we do. Let's go ahead and do something like that. And why not? You know, let's just go. Let's go ahead and get 12 furnaces. Sure. <laughs> Sounds like a brilliant idea. Boom, boom, boom. We'll speed up the process uh, indefinitely. Let's go and throw like half of you in there. And half of you in there. 
And that'll take some mod out of here and throw you in there. And then we should be good to go. That's going to go ahead and cook all that stuff up. And we should be able to protect ourselves. Let's see. Do we have any more coal? 5, 11. We'll take some out of there. That should be, should be more than fine. And then let's have a little bit of a chest. Uh, so we can kind of dump all this stuff around. I don't want to be holding on to all of this for the longest time. Uh, as far as I can tell, I don't think there have been any tweaks to the recipes. Uh, I know a lot of packs, kind of like the Mad Pack and, uh, and some other packs that I've been playing recently, I've done a lot of tweaking. And usually my first test to see if a pack is actually tweaking any of the recipes is to go and type in the Buildcraft, uh, the Buildcraft Quarry. If you type in Quarry and click on that, usually if someone's going to tweak a recipe, they start with the Quarry. Because the Quarry uh, is kind of seen, I don't know if it seemed to be overpowered or seemed to be just like something that everyone goes for but uh, the quarry is definitely one that people go towards first and uh, try and change that so if you want to see if recipes have, uh, have been changed try that out first I, that not an official rule there not everyone has to change the recipes for a quarry but uh, usually if they are changing recipes like in blood and bones and stuff like that then they probably will have changed the recipe for a quarry uh, i think we are using default stuff for mfr like default recipes yeah it doesn't look like we're using the thermal expansion ones which is pretty nice uh, let's go ahead and grab a bunch of our iron here. Look how fast all this stuff smelted up. It is absolutely beautiful. And we'll let that finish up in there. And then we should be able to get ourselves a full set of iron armor, which is pretty nice. I like that. Usually, you have to do a lot more mining in order to get to this stage. I like the fact that you can kind of do this a bit early on. Uh, it does kind of decrease the challenge a little bit, you know, having uh, all of the iron up here, but I think it's kind of nice. It, it frustrates me a little bit sometimes when I'm playing packs like the Mad Pack, and whenever I try and do anything, I just die due to my lack of armor instantly, even when you try and mine, which, again, does kind of bump up the pack like difficulty, but if you're someone like me who just is terrible at pack difficulty in every sense, then this might be for you, you know? Let's go ahead and make ourselves a sword. I think that's a good idea. And then we'll also make like a pickaxe and, and call it a day. There we go. There we go. And I don't think we need any more of these either. By the way, for those who don't know, if you have a, a chest within the radius of uh, the uh, the crafting station, it will connect up. I thought it used to be just be, it had to be touching it, but apparently this class is touching. So they've gone ahead and hooked up there. And I think it's actually given us the access to the full double chest as well, which is, it's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. Now, I was going to aim to make all of these... Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Not what I wanted to see, but luckily we didn't die, which is quite nice. Uh, what I was going to say is I was going to try and uh, make all of these, like, first look videos about 30 minutes in length. But unfortunately, this is a pack that it doesn't really require much explaining, to be fair. We do have the... Um, the, ah, oh, what are the mods called now? Let me find it. Infernal Mobs. Uh, that is another one on the list of what makes Run, Dig, Hide hard slash different. Uh, I'll read through some of these real quick. It says, Environment Mine requires you to keep an eye on temperature, hydration, air quality, and sanity. The world generation requires you to travel in order to survive lack of water and food, etc. Certain mobs may spawn with special abilities, the Infernal Mobs, like this little creeper that we can see. I think it's creeper over there, eye in the distance. That might be like a dirt creeper or something. Um, rewards are out there, but come at some risk. Uh, there are certain things, the different little bunkers that you can find. If you Go and explore that have like tripwires in them. I did find a couple of those. Uh, let's uh, let's hmm. Okay, let me let me really quick see if I can show some stuff here. Uh, as you can see, there's like a spider over there wearing a bandana, which uh, looks awfully fun. Let's try and get killed by the zombies. I'm gonna keep going. I'm fairly certain if we can make our way right down to the bottom of here, it is gonna be pretty dark, but I think there's like a little set of traps down here that I can kind of show off. And there were, I'm assuming. That there are more bunkers and stuff that you can find that have this sort of thing rounded about. Do watch out if you're going to play. There are there are some rewards, but there are some risks alongside it. But again, like I said, one of my main gripes, I've been through this. I've gotten out of the bottom. I've managed to survive some of the traps. And then the, the rewards are just kind of junk, you know? <laughs> and what I was going to say earlier is I'd like to make this, uh, these series as, oh my gosh, my, Mains Auric Shoes? What? This is like the world's strongest zombie. Well, pfft. we can't sleep. No, it's actually like a real bed. Can we just not sleep in this pack? Well, apparently that's the thing. Apparently, no sleep in in in, in the hard packs. Okay, well, that's fair enough. Uh, let's try. I'm gonna try and make my way back to this little house that we made. Jeez. Um. But yeah, this this pack is it's just a hard pack. It's a, a normal sort of like uh, quote unquote uh, feed the beast of you using the term kitchen sink, which basically means like uh, a lot of mods thrown together and uh, just play what you will. I'd kind of say it's one of those, it's a kitchen sink pack, you can just play what you want, but it's added an element of difficulty. You have to kind of watch out for environment. you can travel around, you can explore if you want, there is some reward for it. You can see on the minimap there, if you look right at the bottom now, like below all of the bars I messed up, there is a meteor there, I believe that's an A meteor that you can use to get some of your, uh, your presses for your inscriber press and stuff like that. But to be fair, 
There's not much else I can I can say on this pack apart from the fact that these zombies are absolutely horrible and I'm gonna die again. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> no, this um, it's because I said that thing up, didn't I? I set up the I'm gonna die. <laughs> I set up the little block so I can climb over and they climbed over with me. Ah But uh, yeah, there's not much else I can say about this. If you're looking for a bit of a challenge as well as a really awesome mod pack that you can play with a ton of mods and you just have to something that's like a little bit harder than your typical like Direwolf 20 or mod source, uh, then go for it. Run Dick High, you can get it right now on the it on the Feed the Beast launcher using the pack code uh, PT Noob Crew. Make sure you go to the third party's tab, scroll all the way down to the bottom, it will be there. Uh, in the future, I may cover a couple of packs like this that are just kind of uh, normal mod packs with a bit of a twist, but for the most part, I'll probably stick to trying to do things like HQM packs and packs that have something significant that we can do in the first 30 minutes. But uh, anyway, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit like. If you want to see more first look videos uh, of this nature, be sure to hit that like button, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Get out of here. There we go.